Hey, what's happening everyone? Joey here with another quick update on what's been going on here behind the scenes at Appendipity. We just released our latest and biggest update yet for all Appendipity themes. Uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting, actually this is, has been the top request out of all the requests, and that is to have the option to change the background of your themes. So we went ahead and did that, we've been working on that for, for the last couple months, and we finally got it done. So uh, this, is, uh, this, this new update is for all themes, so it doesn't matter what theme you have, okay? I'm going to show you here with the Pintercast theme how to do it, but it works with all themes the same way. Okay, now let me show you what's what part is actually going to change. Okay, right here you're going to see the actual post right here where it says EP18 sample post, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is not going to change. What changes is the actual gray part right here that you see here. Okay, so anything back there, you can actually change it to whatever color that you want. You're also going to be able to change the color of the background on the home page. This little light gray color here behind the images and all that stuff, you're going to be able to change that as well. All right, so again, this works on all themes. I'm just going to show you on this tutorial with the Pintercast theme because I got it open right now. All right, so let's go ahead and show you. All you have to do is just go ahead and go into your dashboard. All right, then right here on the left hand side, hover over appearance and then click on the customize a little tab here. Okay, it's going to bring you to this page here. And right there, you're going to see a little sneak preview of your, your the actual theme that you have. All right. And then right here on the left hand side, all you got to do is just uh, hover over the colors tab and then just go ahead and click on it to open uh, that, that feature. And then all you got to do is right here where it says background color, just go ahead and click on that uh, thing to open up the color wheel. And then just go ahead and click on this and just hold uh, the mouse right there and just go ahead and change the colors around here. You can see on the right hand side that the background's already changing, which is pretty cool, okay? You could also have some of the preset colors here. We got red, uh, green, or orange. I don't know what color that is. That's amber, yellow. Uh, you could also mess with the color bar here as well just to mix and match some different colors here. And if you already have a color code that you actually want to use, okay, and you know the color code, just right here, where it's right by this clear little button, just go ahead and copy and paste uh, the, your particular code there. And that's and it'll change it, okay? Um, and then that's it. Once you got the, the color that you want, all right, just go ahead and click on Save Publish. And let me go ahead and click on Save Publish real quick. Then you go right here, click on refresh here real quick, and instantly you'll see that the background color changed on this. Let me go ahead and do the same thing on the home or on the actual post, and then uh, you, you can see right there that it uh, instantly changed the colors. Okay, so uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and change it back because this actually looks ugly. So to change it back to the normal color, just go ahead and right here to where uh, the background color option. Just go ahead and click on that. Click on clear here then click on save and publish and then that's it it'll revert back to its original default color so i hope you guys enjoy this uh, new update i know a lot of you guys been asking for this if you have any questions whatsoever any problems or even suggestions on how to make this option a little bit better just go ahead and leave them in the comments below okay now to make to have this option, you must update to the newer version of your particular theme. But before updating your theme, please follow the instructions on that link below this video. Do not update your theme without following that guide because if you have some customized stuff that you've done to it, it will get deleted. So you wanna make sure you follow that guide, okay? So with that said, this is Joey Kasimi and I'll see you on the next. Thank <laughs> you.